This is Teacher Rhea, and welcome to the Battle of the Grand Team. Get yourself ready and join me as we go along into learning something new the easy way. But before anything else, don't forget to click the subscribe button and notification bell to be updated to new learnings. Today, we'll read a new story. But before that, I have a question for you kids. Are you ready? Yeah. Nice to hear. Here are my questions. Do you have a favorite animal? May I know your favorite animal? Please comment me below. Me? My favorite animal is a bird because I would love to fly like a bird and see the beauty of my surrounding from above. Would you like them too, kids? Oh, yes. Let's go ahead and read the story. The title of the story is The Peacock and the Crane by Lisa. Are you ready for our story? Yeah. All right then, we're going to start the story. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful peacock and she knew that she was so very beautiful. Look at my tail. Has anyone ever had such a beautiful tail? My feathers are so gorgeous. All animals dislike it when peacock behave like that, but she didn't care. The peacock went to the riverside for some water when she suddenly saw a strange but beautiful bird. Who is that? A long neck and cool legs? It looks quite elegant, but I don't like the feathers though, thought the peacock to herself. The peacock thought of starting a new conversation with a strange looking bird and soon went near. The peacock said to the stranger, Hi, who are you? I have never seen you around, the strange bird said. I'm Crane. The peacock introduced herself to the crane and started to show off. I am Mika. I have feathers that are shiny and gorgeous. The crane immediately understood what the peacock was trying to do. Oh, right. They look good, said the crane and she walked along the river. The arrogant peacock, who has now becoming very furious of Crane's behavior, spread her colorful feathers. Look at these colors in my feathers. What's wrong with yours? They look gray and dusty, said the peacock. Yes, you are very beautiful, but I don't envy you at all, replied the crane. What? Don't lie. How could you not envy these beautiful feathers? asked the peacock angrily. I can fly high in the sky with my wings. I travel around the world and go wherever I want, high enough to see the beauty of the earth. What can you do with those feathers? Grooming and showing off? What else can you do? It seems you look good outside, but not inside. She asked Pika. The Pika had nothing to say to the crane. She no longer felt as proud of her feathers as she used to and she realized that there was more to life than just looking beautiful. Do you love the story, kids? Yes! It's nice to hear that. I have a few questions to ask to all of you if you fully understand our story for today. Are you ready? Yeah. That's good! And here are my questions. First question, who are the main characters of the story? Very good! The main characters of the story are Pika and Crane. Please describe them in the comment box below. Second question, kids. What did the Pika do when she met the Crane one day? Correct! The peacock scoffed at the crane's colorless and boring feathers. Third question, was the peacock proud of her feathers? That's right, the peacock is so proud of her feathers. Fourth question, kids, did the crane envy the peacock? Good job, the crane never envied the peacock. Fifth question, what can the crane do that the peacock doesn't? That's right, kids. The crane can fly high above along the clouds and the stars and can see the beauty of the earth. Kids, always remember, never be so proud of yourself. 
be humble always and listen to your parents. I hope you had fun with the story of the Pika Kanda Crane today. Yeah. Remember, learning is fun when it is made easy. This is Teacher Raya, your teacher agent for today. Stay tuned for more learning content on your on Tele Arnold Tutorial TV. See you again next time!